Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua So today we will be learning SWOT analysis So SWOT analysis is connected to every part of the business Okay, um, so SWOT stands for the strength, the weaknesses, the opportunity and the threats S-W-O-T Right. So SWOT helps a business to be more strategic in their decision making process To identify bit by bit what is their strength, their kekuatan What is their weaknesses, their kelemahan Apakah peluang di luar sana, what are the opportunities out there and the threats Apakah the ancaman yang di luar di sana yang mereka tidak boleh control So SWOT Strength and weaknesses is something yang you can actually control That you are able to control by yourself um, Apa yang kamu boleh kawal by yourself okay? And for example, strength, kekuatan apa, um, You can go down to your business Your um, employees or your product or your services Whether apa kekuatan your business, your perniagaan your employees, do they have the right skills? Do they have the skills to do that product? Be creative in their copywriting, their marketing, in their uh, uh, producing your product or your services. Okay, is your product able to withstand a long shelf life? Okay, that is one example of strength. Okay, um, weaknesses, kelemahan. It's every business, every product, services. Every employees have their own weaknesses. Without weaknesses, uh, I think everybody has their weaknesses. Okay, we are all human. Everybody will have, but you have to be frank about it. Okay, a business with a weakness, if you are able to identify it, you are able to overcome it. Okay, for example, weakness of a business is they don't have enough capital. They don't have enough money, capital, modal. Okay, income. They don't have the right skills to handle the finance. Okay, they don't have the right employees to do marketing. They don't have the right employees or skills to do copywriting. So the, uh, with that, they don't. They can't attract other customers, potential customers, to come and buy their products or services. So business will fail. They fail. Okay. So that is their weaknesses. Products with weaknesses, for example, they are not able to withstand um, a long shelf life. They have lack of um, their pen. Their pen keep on leaking. Okay, what happened, right? And the op so this strength and weaknesses you are able to control. Okay, kamu boleh control with strength. You can overcome with your weaknesses. You boleh control your weaknesses. Whether we uh, kasih kurangkan kelemahan itu atau kan ataupun overcome it, right? So the opportunities and threats. Opportunities is something uh, peluang di luar sana. Threats adalah ancaman yang di luar sana. All things that are outside of your business, outside your product, your services, you can't control it. Okay. So when you think about opportunities and threats. You can connect it with the past analysis. Remember, past P stands for political, um, E stands for economy, S stands for social, T stands for technology. So politics, you can't control it. So think about all the rules and regulations are out there that may or not affect your business directly, indirectly, your product. For example, as um, the tax, okay, the new rules about the privacy um, act that um, on social media you have to control um, how you use the privacy, um, the information of your customers, okay, how you protect their privacy uh, of getting any information from them, okay, that determines your um, business as well, okay, and e economy. If the economy out there are going through recession, you can see whether you view it as opportunity, as a peluang you want to take advantage of, whether you reduce the price, okay, or you see it as a threat, whether it can really badly affect you, okay, and social out there, what is trending? 
trends sometimes determines what your products um the product that you need to keep on developing okay so what are trending out there is um are there more vegans now are there more um carnivores for example okay what are the trends out there that you need to know whether it becomes uh, your opportunities that you can take advantage of or whether it becomes a threat to your business and technology technology here is um for example um technology keep on, keep on advancing it's very dynamic all right sometimes a business can view technology as a threat because they don't know how to cope uh, they don't know how to keep on coping with all these trends of technology so they don't know how to use applications they know don't know how to take advantage of creating something that if it is very convenient they don't know how to go online and sell their products so they view it as a threat to their company to their business so this is normally um connected to the mom and pops to the older generation um kind of a business who are not on online you can see them online at all okay so but for those who take advantage of technology they know how to go online and promote their stuff their products okay their products um their products are digitalized they know how to take advantage of it so it depends on the business whether they see it as uh, an opportunity or whether they see it as a threat okay so the thing is here if you are able to identify your strength your weaknesses your opportunities and your threats and you lay out them within a piece of paper you are able to actually understand what you need to overcome what weaknesses you need to overcome okay and what threats you need to look at that you need to use your opportunities to take uh, to mitigate your threats okay so you need to be strategized okay strategic about it and hand, um you are able to with this you are able to withstand anything okay so that's about it so that is what analysis okay bye